Okay, welcome back to our final example on volume strain. And in this question, we actually have three sub questions that we'll be answering. Uh, part A is what is the pressure at a depth of 5000 meters uh, beneath the ocean's sea level? And part B is what is the fractional volume change? In other words, this delta V over V value of seawater at that depth. And then finally, what is the density of seawater at that same depth? So we've been studying Bulk's modulus and this relationship between volume stress and volume strain. And we know that if we compress any volume of material, whether it's a liquid or a solid, that it's going to compress and change volume by a very tiny amount, which we call delta V. And we can use this bulk modulus to essentially relate the volume stress to the volume strain and figure out what that change of volume is. So I've written out a few more knowns here. So we have the mass density of seawater, ocean water, uh, to be 1,030 kilograms per meter cubed. We have the bulk modulus of seawater to be 0 0.2 times 10 to the 10th pascals or newton per meter squared. And then we have our depth of 5,000 meters. So let's go ahead and start answering these questions. With part A, it's asking us what is the pressure at the depth of 5,000 meters. So we know how to calculate pressure at this point. We can use our hydrostatic pressure equation, which is P is equal to some P naught value plus rho G D, where D is our depth. And because the top of the ocean is open just to the atmosphere, we can take P naught to be our atmospheric pressure. So P naught is 101, 300 pascals plus the mass density of the seawater, which is 1030 kilograms per meter cubed. And then we can multiply this value times our gravitational constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. And then finally by our depth, which is 5,000 meters. And once we solve this out, we get a pressure of 50,622,800 Pascal. So this is, again, a very large pressure, but that is because we're taking our depth to be 5,000 meters, which for all of my non-SI unit friends, that's just a little over three miles. So this very large pressure makes sense. Okay, so that was easy. So we figured out part A of this question. The next part of this question is asking, what is the fractional volume change? In other words, this term of delta V to V. So in this equation down here, our, our delta V over V term is our volume strain. So that's what we need to figure out. So if I rewrite that equation up here, we have our pressure is equal to negative B times our fractional volume change. And if I solve for volume strain, then I get this. I get delta V over V, the change in volume over the original volume, is equal to negative pressure divided by B, our bulk modulus. Now, I can take the pressure that we found up here as well as our bulk modulus of seawater, plug them in here, and that will give us our delta V over V. Okay, and that becomes this right here. So we have our pressure, we have our bulk modulus, we have our negative sign, and this turns out to be, again, a very small number. This is negative 0.0253114, and this value is dimensionless. So if we take a look at this term, notice that both of these terms, the numerator and the denominator, are in pascals or newton per meter squared and those values cancel out and we're left with a strain value. So just like tensile strain, volume strain is also dimensionless. It doesn't have a unit. Okay, so that solves part B of this question. And finally, part C asks us, what is the density of seawater at this depth? So if we have our density of seawater uh, to be 1,030 kilograms per meter cubed, if you take some volume of seawater and you submerge that or you bring it down all the way to a depth of 5,000 meters, that volume is going to get compressed by a tiny amount, which is delta V. Now, what this delta V over V term tells us is that the original volume, which is V, will decrease by a factor of this, of this 0 0.025 at a depth of 5,000 meters. Now, if I were to write that in equation form, what that would look like 
is that the volume at 5,000 meters of depth, that is going to be our original volume minus the volume times this 0 0.0253114. And all this is saying is that the volume at 5,000 meters is going to be the original volume minus the original volume by times some factor, which is 0.025. So this 0.025 is how much volume is going to shrink from the original volume, which will give us our volume at 5,000 meters. Now, if I take out the common terms here, I get uh, volume, at least on the right side, uh, times 1 minus 0. 0.025314 or volume times 0 0.9746886. And so what this is telling us is that the volume at 5,000 meters is going to be the original volume times a factor of 0.97. It's going to be 97% of the original volume. Awesome. So again, part C of this question is asking, what is the density of seawater at this level? So what do we know about mass density? Well, mass density is equal to mass over volume. Now, if I rewrite this relationship, uh, I can get volume is equal to mass divided by mass density. And what I can do now is scroll down a tiny bit because I'm running out of room. And I can take this term that we found for volume and plug it into this equation right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So the volume at 5,000 meters is going to be mass over the mass density at 5,000 meters. And that is equal to volume, the original volume. So that's mass over the original mass density of water times 0.974686. And you'll notice here that the masses on both sides cancel out because although the volume is shrinking, the mass of that water or that liquid is going to remain the same. Only the mass density is going to change because the volume compresses by a very tiny amount. So what I'm really left with is 1 over mass density at 5,000 meters is equal to 1 over rho times that value here. Now, if I take the reciprocal of both sides of this equation, I get mass density at 5,000 is equal to the mass density times 1 over 0 0.97. And if we know that the original mass density here is this 1,030 kilograms per meter cubed, I can plug that in here for rho, and I get this term right here. And if I plug this into my calculator, I get a mass density of 1,056.75 kilograms per meter cubed. And so if we compare this mass density at 5,000 meters, we can see it's a little bit higher than the original mass density of seawater. And that was because since the volume got compressed by some amount delta V, then we know that the same amount of mass in the smaller volume is going to result in a slightly larger mass density, which is this 1,056 kilogram per meter cubed.